point of view in the 2021 Flying Spur. Except for the rear seats. A very known engine, V8 by Turbo. The B of Bentley integrated. Yes, we have a fridge. Currently selected cooling, here we go. And then you think it's finished, but then you got the center console for the rear passengers. Finally, she is here. The artwork of Limousine is here. Guys, this is the 2021 Bentley Flying Spur all the way from the UK in a stunning green spec. First Flying Spur on the channel. And what kind of Flying Spur? This color is also known as British Racing, but they've renamed it to Bernado. And this green is finished with black solid and chrome finishing from the outside as from the interior I am just speechless and with speechless I mean from every profile from that huge impulsive front to the rear and that rear is so designed that it's almost a coupe and then when you get in when you get in when you get in, you get blown away by finishing by Bentley. It's the highest details, the high-end finishing. If I compare it to the Continental GT, it's actually on space pretty much the same, except for the rear seats. That's, that's next level. If you're here for the first time, please tap the subscribe button and the bell notification, and that way you won't miss any of my new videos. Here we go, Bentley flying spur in Barnado with black finishing. Let's first start on that huge front grille. So this has a full black spec with the Barnado green. Gloss finishing. Sent the camera of course. Flying B currently revealed. This has by the way also on the inside a little LED. Huge, huge kidney. And here below you can see the sporty, the sporty identity of Bentley again. Carbon finishing on the front splitter. There you got the heat camera, the heat sensor, and there of course all the other sensors. And then here we have the crystal cut diamond finishing of the interior of the headlights. Very high end. And the trim is finished in gloss black of the headlights. Very, very imposing front nose. Huge as well and sporty again as well. Very retro. Not to forget we have the Park Pilot Center, of course, integrated. I love these layers. Very, very imposing. Here we go, front wheels. These are winter sets. <laughs> Pretty heavy winter sets, of course. But it's still a Bentley with the huge Huge calipers, Bentley branded steel discs, 265, 40, 21 inch. There you go, winter wheels. Here on the side, in gloss black as well, finished and accenting the line of the flying spur. This is not a functional air vent, this is only optical. And of course the V8, because this is the flying spur V8. Here below we have a side skirt in carbon and again sticking out and not actually pretty classic sticking out but very sporty so we have a very aggressive side skirt on the flying spur little detail of that side skirt then the logo integrated in chrome okay the profile again that beautiful profile so of course it's the limousine, but look actually how short the rear trunk is. So we almost have that kind of coupe line. Four door with a coupe. Window trim also in gloss black. Currently the window shades are up for the rear. Passengers. And then the rear wheels. Measures of, where are we? No, that's the red, there we go. 305, 35, 21 inch. So we got wider wheels in the rear. Black calipers, Bentley branded and steel discs as well. This is so, so nice. How they have designed this line here. The 
it's really unreal guys it's pretty pretty shocking let me go through the whole finishing of the rear and what i love the most is this the leds where we can find the b the b of bentley integrated that's pretty sick yep and again that sportiness we can find on the finishing of the rear trunk little carbon fiber spoiler not too much but it's still there of course the bentley logo the emblem okay rear finishing carbon fiber splitter as well here and then more lower rear finishing carbon fiber rear diffuser pretty aggressive actually sticking out also like a centimeter of i think almost two got those oval quad exhaust tips giving this a very aggressive but classy look at the same time flying spur it's a beauty it's time to have a look at the trunk space and of course that huge huge engine bay trunk so we control the trunk of the flying spur from the inside as well from the outside pressing on the b emblem as well from the beautiful key of the bentley of course there we go trunk space okay <laughs> it's a bit of chaos my items are here but still a big trunk space i think it might be the same size as the continentals rear trunk still you have enough space for a limousine of its category okay let's open up the hood and let's see that engine yeah that interior is sick trust me okay a very known engine v8 by turbo V8 by turbo, just like in the Continental, producing 550 horses. And by the way, for a huge front hood, actually the hood itself is pretty short. Okay, it's time to get inside, guys. We're going to have a look at the beautiful spec matching interior. By the way, the door handles from the outside, gloss black combined with that Bernado. Here we go. Let's first have a look. Look at how the doors are matching the paint of the car. It's perfect. It's perfect. So first all on top, we got the first layer of leather with that wooden color, walnut colored stitching, double stitching, Bernado green again. Then we got that walnut over black interior trim. So we got those two layers of trimming on the inside. Then again down here we got that nice diamond shape. Look at how nice that diamond shapes integrate smoothly on this side. <laughs> yeah. And I'm saying diamond and 3D because you can physically touch this. And then down there again those nice leather with that brown walnut stitching. Got the nice chrome buttons to control the windows even here in the i think this is a speaker unit as well should be integrated that brown combinations with that green again and of course down here all finished again in that cumbrian green finishing with the optional nime audio system yeah this is a, a very very sick finishing on design door sills so before you enter you have these layers of door sills pretty insane so first you got the carbon then we got the barnado green then you got the bentley led green enlightened so combined green everywhere and then here you got the emblem the seal handcrafted and then here we have the seal handcrafted bentley motors crew england and then you can see the carpeting also matching 
the whole Cumbrian green of the interior as well as the housing of the dash and this is all leather guys don't forget it's Bentley even here in the housing of the lower section of the seat this is all leather and of course here you have the controls for the electric adjustable seat with massage function by the way yeah beautiful entry test first ever flying spur feels like home feels like home welcome inside this is the point of view in the 2021 flying spur with this Cumbrian interior spec let's bring some life in the interior here we go the rotating display let's start on the left side so just like in the continental here on the left side we have the press buttons for all light systems but of course we have full automatic lights today driving light and then down here we have the Cumbrian leather continuing all the way on the lower side of the dash so the lower side of the dash is finished in leather in this case with Cumbrian green and also the housing of the steering wheel column as a green finishing last time I forgot it but look at the pedals bent logo here on the brake so on top of the light switches we got the first left vent very nice chromed out and the trim the chrome trim starting here at the door is integrated in the left vent how thought of is that so of course here are the pins to engage or disengage the vents and then here on top we got the green leather again with that walnut stitching heads up display unit of course huge center speaker there and then you have the white very white and deep design of the finish of the dash towards the passenger side steering wheel just like in the continental perfectly balanced with all that leather with that nice stitching on the inside in this case the one stitching of course then the emblem in the center housed with leather and that nice chrome trim also down here some trims in chrome perfectly finished here you got the controls on the left and on the right side for your digital cockpit there and here on the right side for your volume for your navigation and of course steering wheel heating in the center this is the digital cockpit of Bentley very high-end and a lot of brightness during day driving so the dash we got those two trims so we got a walnut and on the lower side we got that black and that goes all the way through the whole dash of course center console first of all let's start on this so this is Bentley's rotating display very high-end with tolerances approximately 0.3 millimeters so that's pretty sick because we have three phases of use currently selected the interior trim walnut in black and then when you press it once you have of course your functional set nav with all your car selections car info multimedia systems and then when you press it again you have a very classy view with again the trims and three very nice meters temperature we got the compass and we got a chronometer so below the rotating display you have your quick press buttons for the set nav and the multimedia systems and of course all these buttons are very high end finished with a very nice touch and then below those buttons we have a very very high end finishing of an integrated vent so spread on two vents but it looks actually like one unit the Bentley clock which you can also optional choose a Bentley by Breitling clock and if I'm even right you could choose a 100k plus if I'm right tour be long it's pretty insane and again below the vents we got those nice pins to open or close the vents there we have a 12 volt input and a wireless charger there you go for your phone your phone supports wireless charging and then we have the gear knob with all the climate systems 
two zone climate systems and personal preferences for the driver as well for the passenger the nice led here with your temperatures and your seat heating seat venting of course automatic handbrake traction control on or off hazard lights pdc the nice gear knob chrome with leather here and i'm such a fan of the start stop button and the selection of the car programs the trim here is gloss black but not your average gloss black you can't see it on video but the gloss black trim of bentley has a sort of a 3d depth two cup holders and the center armrest in that leather again by the way this here is all finished in leather not to forget that's all leather with that nice green carpeting as well armrest little armrest review this armrest is perfectly positioned for a car this size guys perfect height you can't open this section this is fixed beautiful seats very comfy and enough sport fixed feeling at the same time Bentley engraved, stitched and also a panoramic roof which you control on this side here on top and the panoramic roof you can and the panoramic roof you control here on top and just to give you an idea this all here on top I need to give you some light uh, just to give you a little idea, this here on top, this is all finished in leather. So even this is finished in leather. This is finished in leather. The housing of the seat belt unit is all finished in leather. Of course, your seat belt is not in leather. Even the buckle is green, if I'm right. Yep. Okay, from crazy front finishing, let's have a look at the rear section. I'm in love with the rear section. So if you're lucky to be ever driven in a flying spur, this is your point of view if you're the rear passenger. And I can tell you this is pretty insane on finishing. I mean, even if you just look on the left side here of the depth and the finishing, you can also see how it's continuing to the driver's side. Then you got this on the left side here, speaker unit. Here you can hang <laughs> your jackets, your coats, that nice vent here integrated with that chrome finishing there it is and then the rear seat here all in that Cumbrian green leather trimmed with chrome and then down here that green carpeting and then here in the center console we got more chrome and green with <laughs> walnut stitching and then you think it's finished but then you got the center console for the rear passengers it's a display unit that gives you it's a touch screen with climate systems lighting ambient lighting the colors the choices it's so perfect the two little vents just like in the front but then smaller with that chrome again and the two pins and this you can fold back so we have a huge armrest but of course this needs to be fold here because here we got two cup holders of course, we got two USB inputs, even a 12 volt input. Yes, we have a fridge. Currently selected cooling, here we go. There, we have the cold fridge. Yep, we have a fridge. Wow. This is so classy and luxurious combined. So air on top, LEDs, makeup mirrors, of course, more LEDs, more reading lights, another makeup mirror, and of course, the panoramic roof. And to be honest, you still can see how low actually the flying spur is on the interior. So it's very coupe-ish design. Big shout out to Bentley. Guys, I love the products you built. I love the balance between luxury and of course, just a bit of that sportiness. Don't forget to hit the sub button. Wait for the option list after this and I will see you definitely on the next videos.
जाओ